Um, a typical day begins at 6 in the morning. Um, we feed them seven times a day when they're first born. Those times uh, get reduced as the cubs get older. We start eliminating feedings and spreading the times out. During each feeding, we record how much food that they eat, uh, how much was offered. Uh, they need to be stimulated because they're not able to urinate and defecate on their own. Once a day, we weigh the cubs. When we get the weights, that helps us determine how much food they're going to be fed that day and at each individual meal. Why are we breeding clouded leopards? We're breeding cloud leopards here because the population in the wild is diminishing. We know that they're being caught still, but we have no idea of the numbers. Um, the, way, the way that we know that there's still cloud leopards in the wild is that we're actually finding their pelts in shops and things like that through poachers still killing them up in Thailand. It's hard to control that because the, the um, rangers don't want to go into the parks at night to even protect them, the animals from the poachers for fear of getting shot themselves. What is it like working with the cubs and what is their temperament and behavior? Working with the cubs is basically just feeding them and then they usually go right back to sleep. Getting them to really start on the bottle can be difficult, um, but it just kind of depends on the cub and difficulties the cubs we had last year have been way different from the cubs we have this year. Their temperament um, starts to change and they start to develop their own personalities. Some prefer different things, some of them like to be stimulated first and then they'll eat. They're at the age now though where they're starting to play more and um, they're getting more rambunctious and they play with each other. Why is this so important and what do we have to learn from the cubs? In the past we used to let the mother do the uh, raising of the cubs and what we found is that a lot of the mothers were not uh, very good at it. Uh, they would either ignore the babies or in some cases even eat the babies. Our survival rate was somewhere around 55-60%. By switching to hand rearing, um, our survival rate jumps to about 95%. The other advantage is that these particular cats are extremely um, aggressive when they get older. Uh, the males tend to kill the females during introductions. Um, and by hand rearing, um, it allows us to interact more with the cubs when we're doing these encounters. There's a lot of advantages um, for their future well-being.